Snuggies. <laughs> what can you say? <laughs> it's an addiction, and I've got it bad. <sighs> this is fun. What time is it? 3.33. Race 33. That's how many Snuggies I'm going to shoot today. 303. Well, I love snow geese, and there's no better place to shoot snow geese than in Canada. It's a different bird up here. Um, they decoy better. They're bulking up to get their fat content up before they go over the forest into the breeding ground. So Brian called me, I believe in December, and they had an opening to come back up to Prairie Limits Outfitters and hunt with him and Ben. And I didn't even think twice. I said, we will be there. Just get us the dates. <laughs> See, Dylan, I will give you this, though. So when I set my decoys, they're usually more spread out. <laughs> Almost took Cody out. Look out, poop eater. So when I got the call to come up here with Bill, um, finish to, to wrap up the season here, um, he said we're going to visit Brian and Ben again, and I couldn't be more eager to get up here. I couldn't say yes fast enough. Over the last few seasons, uh, hunting with them, really learned a lot, but they become family. You know, Brian's dad and Ben's big brother that you can poke fun with and he always makes it a great time out in the field and so I was really 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 excited to get up here. Well, well, how do, do, you, how do you want us to place these Dylan? What's the game plan? Oh um, the, the obviously upwinds up here. You put yeah, the mass up there do you? Or? Yeah I think we can almost run it like all the way up to the trailer. Okay. Um, then we can kind of feed line it down here in front um, and then just like loose groups. Just little family groups out there yeah. feeding? Okay. So put the, the rest of the trailer where the trailer is? Right. Okay. <laughs> I'll start doing that. <laughs> All right. So the thing that amazes me up here, I just came from a spread of 2,000 decoys and 20 speakers, uh, rotary machines, the whole gamut. We throw everything but the kitchen sink at them. And you get up here to Canada and you're hunting over maybe 100 decoys. And the game plan for day one, uh, we were hunting with Dylan and we got out there and, and we there weren't very many decoys in the trailer. And I was joking with Dylan, I said, are we gonna empty the trailer? And he said, no, nah, we'll just put out about 90 decoys. And it works up here. Um, and that's what we did. The new Super Goose Flapper HDI 2.0. Snow Goose model. So cool part about it is we took a better carving from our old one, made it smaller, most, more lifelike. But so it's gonna come with the 11, I was telling Dylan, it will come with the 11.1 .1 volt lithium battery and you'll get three to four hours on it. But the cool part is, it's gonna come with this extension cord lead. So if it dies or if you wanna extend your battery life, you can run it off any 12 volt battery. We sell them, guys have their uh, lawnmower batteries, uh, ice or like a Vexilar battery. You just plug it in the chest to the charging port, hook it up to your 12 volt system, and you can get double the battery life on it. So that'll be a cool, neat feature. And then also you can operate it off the remote as well. Beautiful. What's his name? Pat. Yeah, have you seen his snaps? He's doing pretty good training. The 
crazy. <laughs> that's again. a crazy story. <sighs> Try not me. Look at that big boy coming. I hear snow somewhere. Let's just turn on the saw. I don't know if that give us a hard one. Come out front now, Bill. Got it. Kill him! Beautiful. That is a full blown adult there, boys. Playing follow the leader over there, aren't they? Give him one quick flap, Luke. Get him, Brian. Oh, Luke, one of your shells just about took my nose off. That one's going to die. Try him. There you go, boy. That other one's going down, too, right there. Come on, breakdown right there. Shoot them two low blues. Yeah, we'll get them blues. Right. Got one. Oh, yeah. Got one. Oh, <laughs> Triple one and got one. The juvies? Yeah. Well, they get they get, they get pounded on all fall down. now. That's a nice blue. Guys. Look at the feathers. Bill, did you see that? He looked at us like we were going to shoot that goose. I swear that's what he was doing. See those right in front, Brian? Yep, they break down right there. You got them. Here we go. Okay, sorry. They like the flappers. Left side, left side. Kill him, left! That helped. Yeah. I don't know why. Yeah. Like yeah. Like well, we're wrapping up our first morning here in Saskatchewan with uh, Brian Kramer and Ben Webster. And it was a good little hunt. I think we got maybe 25 snows. Uh, they had a nice field picked out here. It had a couple thousand feet in it last night. This morning, we could kind of tell they picked a different field. So they got play and follow the leader. They took off that way. but. We pulled a few little bunches in, and the ones that did it, did it right. Um, snows are snows. Uh, we're going to get picked up, go eat some breakfast, regroup. May do an afternoon hunt, may not. We try not to do afternoon hunts. It's just a little hard on the camera crew, but uh, get ready for day two here in Saskatchewan with Ben and Brian. Dakota hoodie. What's the plan today, boss? We're hunting. <laughs> What do we got? What is that? A south wind or north wind? Uh, we got an east wind. This That's morning. east. Okay. It's supposed to be east southeast, decent wind. Uh, we're gonna hide off this berm. Um, I love sitting like that. Lay out blinds, grass. Should be really good. This this has been a nice feed uh, for the last big feed two or three days. Yeah, it's pretty big. But it'd be perfect. I, I wanted to hide on the east fence line so that we had sun on our back instead of our side. But looks like we're gonna have some clouds. We moved to the south end and. Partly Take cloudy. Normally we come up, there might be a few birds. There's frozen water everywhere. And we're waiting for, you know, the big push to come. You know, we're waiting for a 50 and sunny day and here they are, but they were all here. So that's definitely been a little different twist of the spring and every season is different. I mean, there's not one that's ever the same, but that that's interesting so 
for a brief minute this morning. I woke up and my knee felt good <laughs> until I hit the yeah. floor. <laughs> what? You want more up top? Yeah, I'm gonna do some a bunch of family groups up top. Okay. Kind of doing a little L. We're just gonna break it up a lot. All right. They got a big feed here this morning. Uh, we've got Ben with us. Ben and Brian are both with us today. So kind of anxious to hunt with Ben. I haven't hunted with him in a couple of years. So we'll see what we can get done. Uh, we got an east wind. It should end up right here in this hole, right in front of us. So we'll see if we can get it done. You're the motor man, Lukey. If you had to fight a shark or an alligator in knee deep water, what are you choosing? Shark. shark. Yeah. Down low, down low. I love that. I love that. I love that noise they make when they're. I love that noise. Hit him, hit him. Harley, shoot, guys. Still got another blue goose out there. Kill him! <laughs> Harley. Long left, kill him! There's a young one. Drop. Kill him there! Harley. Kill that pair. Harley. <laughs> good shooting. There's five dead geese. Kill the five! Harley. Guns up. Good job, guys. Big wad coming from the front. Yeah, what? Big old birds are definitely darts. Bears go. Oh, it's about Brian. It's about to get ugly, Brian. Oh my God! Down low, guys. Sit. Harley, guns up, guys. Good job. They were laying in the field behind us. I was hoping the whole group would come, but. There ain't nothing wrong with that. Girl. Good dog. Watch it up. Girl, drop. Clean him up! Guns up, guns up. Good shooting, guys. Watch that back bird. There he goes. Back. A juvie! Well, we are probably getting close to the end of this hunt. This has been a spectacular hunt. This is how I remember snows in Canada. They are, they're coming in, they're coming in quiet. They make, I told Ben they make a little, when they make the cow sound, you know, you got them, but everyone's shooting really good. We're piling them up. It's, this way you drive 16 hours. If you're gonna go hunt snow geese, come to Canada. Stay out of the States. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> oh, that <laughs> hurt, Did man. it hit you? Mm. Wow. Out in the head? Yeah. And then blew up on my head. 
They almost got too close. Boy, they got here in a hurry, didn't they? Well, we're winding up our second day here in Saskatchewan with Ben and Brian, and it was a burner. Uh, they decoyed today the way I remember them decoying in Canada. It was unbelievable. The first bunch kind of did it good, and then it looked like they were all gonna leave, and we, I don't know if they all left, went off behind us, and then started trickling back, or if they were different birds coming back over here, but it was like one swing and in. It was awesome. We had birds landing in the decoys, and it's pretty special up here. Um, ben put us on a good one. Thanks, Benny. Uh, but we're gonna get packed up. DJ's making breakfast for us again. Everyone's hungry, cold, got kind of cold this morning. We got some rain coming in, so we'll see what happens here this afternoon. Well, we got a ripping southeast wind, it's spitting rain on us a little bit. It's pretty chilly compared to the last few hunts, but uh, we got the wind at our back. We're hunting this barley or oat field here. A lot of geese in it. Should be a really good morning. They're coming from our south, so they will have to come over the top and spin, hook, but that won't be a problem. They seem so. to do that anyway. Yep. Like yesterday. Yep. Yeah, that whole field is spinning and they get right over the top of us. Yep. S similar setup as yesterday. We're going to be in a fence line with the layout blinds, grass those in, and run uh, 12 to 15 dozen full bodies out front. Should be a good morning. Is it still supposed to rain all morning? Or? It's, it's, it's not supposed to be parts. raining right now, which is interesting. Yeah. But. Yes. One thing different about the spread here in Saskatchewan and even Alberta compared to the states, there's a lot less pressure. These geese are a lot more comfortable. They don't get messed with on their water, so you don't need any giant spreads. Um, you're not hunting the juvies, you're just hunting snow geese, just based off how they, how they look and how they feel. They look comfortable, they probably are. So, you know, we always run really small spreads. We're running 10 to 12 dozen, sometimes 15 dozen full bodies. Uh, we have a little blob, you know, where we're gonna put our sound and then the rest of the spread is really open, really loose. Bunch of family groups, kind of like you're doing a honker set and uh, it seems to work perfectly. It's nice for the guides because with a two-man crew, we only need 45 minutes to an hour to set up, depending on whether we need to cut grass and how crazy we have to get with the hide. Um, but the hours suck. Shooting times at, you know, 5.20 this morning, so everybody was up by 3.30, you know, and sometimes it's earlier than that, depending on your drive. So that's the only downfall of spring snows is the hours are pretty crazy. Set. Harley, nice. Go ahead and kill that bird. Set. 
Harley. Oh, Harley here. You're all right. Come on. Launch your birds back left, guys. Cover up. Good night. They're wanting to land behind us for some reason. Down low! Set. Harley. Good girl. Here, back. Kill those. Sit. Harley. Kill the pair. Sit. Harley. Kill them there. Sit. Harley. Here. Back. Get ready. Kill those! Down low two! Down low two! There you go. Guns up, guys! Harley. Low ones. Kill a pair! Down low! Kill the pair down right. Set. Kill the three. Harley. Here, back. All right, turn them off. Turn them off. Clean them up. Set. Harley. Good girl. My blind all of a sudden stinks inside. Kill him there! Sit! Good girl. <laughs> Kill him! Sit. Harley. There we go, we got them birds up. Shoot white only, shoot white only. Ooh. Kill white birds, there's a speck on the ground, be careful. Drop it, nope, nope, kennel, kennel. Making bad decisions. Yep. Oh, Harley. Hit. Hit. Back. It's go time. Sit. Nice. Harley. Well, it's cloudy. Super windy. We're doing it right at the boot bags. We're having a good time. Appreciate you. It's a little chilly today. We weren't getting big bunches. We are getting lots of pairs, threes, fours. We had one bunch early. Just do it right. But the pairs and singles are doing it right. Snows being snows. I told Ben earlier, these are acting like snow geese. But we're getting quite a pile on the ground. I might have to send Luke for more ammo. Kill him there! Sit! Hey, Brian. That bag was full when we started this morning. <laughs> Well, that's a wrap. That was a good hunt. We had one nice bunch, big bunch early, and we thought we might get bunches like that all day. Real cloudy day. I asked Ben earlier if he likes sun or clouds and just to see what his answer was. And just like me, he's a sun guy. I like sun. But we, we were getting a lot of ones, pairs, five, six. And Ben and I were also talking that a lot of times you might as well call it when you've got four or five over the decoys because you can get a bunch in and you might shoot six, but you know those four are gonna go down. So, great time. Brian and Ben took good care of us again. We just gotta get picked up. Luke and I gotta head for South Dakota, and Minnesota, 
Cody's flying out tomorrow morning, and that is a wrap for the 2023-24 season.